Now there are concerns that some of the testing options out there may not be the most reputable. Both the state attorney general's office and the Florida Department of Health in Osceola County are warning of potential fraud. News 6's Treasure Roberts explains what to look for when choosing a testing location. Waiting in line for two to three hours to get the COVID-19 test can be frustrating, so some people are looking for quicker alternatives. But health officials say the easiest avenue isn't always the safest. The testing craze continues, pushing people to find COVID-19 tests without waiting in seemingly endless lines. But officials say taking shortcuts could cost you. The Florida Attorney General releasing this consumer alert Thursday, warning Floridians about re-emerging COVID-19 test scams as Omicron cases spike. The report warns people may exploit this testing demand to steal personal, financial, or medical information. It's worth the wait time to avoid being scammed. Advice from Jeremy Lanier with the Osceola County County Health Department. He says the department has received several reports from concerned residents about nearby pop up testing sites. A lot of residents uh, may be encouraged to use a pop up testing site um, because of its convenience. Lanier says some sites have potential to be fraudulent and it's up to consumers to protect themselves. If you go to a pop up testing site, make sure that you ask questions like uh, uh, what laboratory do you send uh, the tests to? Is there a customer support contact number? And if site workers ask you for sensitive information like your social security number, Lanier says that's a big red flag. Health officials also saying beware of fake testing kits, especially those sold online. Some of the most vulnerable are also the most susceptible to scams and fraudulent activities. And that's not limited to our elderly population, but to our Spanish speaking population. Uh, and our undocumented citizens who may want to take advantage of testing and vaccine opportunities. Lanier encouraging all looking for COVID-19 tests to use trusted resources. If you have complaints about fraudulent activity relating to COVID-19 tests, you can report to the state of Florida Attorney General. You can also report a potential scheme on the Better Business Bureau website. In Orlando, Treasure Roberts getting results, News 6. And if you are looking for a place to get tested, we have a list of locations by county on our website. You can find that list anytime at clickorlando.com slash coronavirus.